Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna continue watching Supernatural. We are at season five and at episode seven and I am so excited to watch the next one. If you're new here, hello, welcome and my name is Cora. It is so lovely to have you here. I'm also a Twitch streamer and I create gaming content here on YouTube. If you wanna check the gaming content out, you can click the link up here. And if you wanna come and hang out live or check out any of my other social media, the link to that is down below in the description box. And if you're not new, welcome, welcome back. Finally feeling a little better. My voice is still a little shaky, so you know, I apologize for, for my voice not being at um, at full speed yet, but you know, I'm recovering from my little cold and um, thank you for bearing with me. I appreciate that. Last episode. Interesting one. It starts off a little bit silly, goofy, fun. Um, minus the deaths, obviously, never fun, but we see these cases that are connected to childhood kind of pranks and beliefs. First one, it's itching powder, then we have the tooth fairy, we have something about like when you grimage, like you make grimages, is that how you say it? With your face, when you make funny faces, uh, parents warning you about like your face gonna get stuck like that and people having their faces stuck like that. We have Dean growing hair out of his hand, which I now understand the connection to. Thank you, I did, I, I, I live under a rock sometimes, okay? I'm the Captain America of the internet. I never get any references and I am so lost on most things, but I get it now. <laughs> And we had a few like if you mix like pop rocks and soda you get like stomach ulcers There was a bunch of these and you know It was pretty easy to quite quickly be like, okay There's a pattern here with pranks and kids beliefs and them all coming true the boys set off to investigate and manage quite quickly to see on a map where these cases are and That there is something in the middle of all of this It's a house so they go there and they check the house out and it's a kid that opens uh, 9 10 11 I don't know eight year old boy opens the door Them just you know casually as you you know as normal pretending to be FBI and you know he does After a little bit of reluctancy, you know, this is a shop kid He does let him in and they have a chat with him and quite quickly figures out that this kid who's called Jesse believes in all of this stuff he believes that Tooth Fairy is a scary grown-up man that kind of comes and like steal your teeth or something and he believes that itching powder will ma make you actually scratch your ba brains out like quite literally and the, 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 the buzzer that you have in your hand, I forgot to mention that one earlier, that that one will electrocute you. He believes this and the boys are like, I don't know how this is working but this kid is probably not knowingly um making all of this real in this city within like a certain radius so they try a thing or rather dean tries a thing he explains that the, these electric buzzers then they won't actually electrocute you they don't even have any batteries they're completely safe it's like it's it's more of a joke it's kind of lame it's not even that funny and the kid goes like, oh, oh, okay, and seems to sort of believe him. So he tests it out on Sam, who later on gets really pissed off at him, because he was like, you risked my life there, okay, dude? You risked my life with that electric buster, but he does, nothing happens. So clearly, if you make this kid believe that something isn't dangerous, it no longer is. It goes back to what it originally was, which was not dangerous. And that's a little interesting because, you know, most kids can't do this. Not that Jesse is doing it knowingly, but it's odd. So they go back, leave Jesse alone, do a little bit of research. Turns out that Jesse is adopted, which, you know, isn't necessarily that weird quite a lot of people are adopted. I don't know if Jesse seemed to know about it, however, but it was a sealed adoption, so you couldn't see any anything about like where Jesse came from, his parents whatsoever. Sam unseals them and finds out there's only a mother listed first off, which I guess is a little unusual, and finds out her name and where she lives. So 
Next thing they do is to go and visit this woman. When the boys get to her home, it's kind of clear that this is a scared person. She has so many locks and she's living a little bit remote and you know, you get a vibe that something is definitely off for some weird reason, you know? They manage to convince her that they're FBI after she like asked them to put their little badges in like her door and like she double checks them and whatnot. And then they start asking questions that makes her uncomfortable. So she shuts the door at them, which you know, fair, valid. Uh, but they manage to rush in and just as they rush after her and like enters the kitchen, she throws salt at them, which you know, us knowing what that does, I suppose is a pretty good thing to do. But knowing that this woman, or like rather, most people don't know the throwing salt at people as a way of knowing that the demons, the boys are like, huh? And she's like, you're not demons? And they're like, no, we're not demons. So finally they sit down and actually talk about it. And it turns out that this woman was a meat suit for a demon for nine months during those nine months she was pregnant she did do a lot of horrible things that she was very anxious about and still felt bad about even though like it wasn't her she remembers being there whilst the demon did them but when she's giving birth to the son who is obviously jesse she managed to somehow like block out the demon a little unclear how she does it but she manages to give birth to Jesse and then like swallow like a bunch of salt to get the demons out of her so the demon leaves she managed to do that but she said that even after she had done that she had this feeling that she hated and kind of wanted to kill her own child and she was like something was not right so I did the only thing that I could do and I adopted him away you know, which, you know, if you if you give birth and you kind of want to kill your kid, that is probably the <clears throat> best thing that you can do. And um, I guess it's hard to know what to do when you've had a demon inside of you and you've been pregnant, but you were a virgin. And I mean, I don't know how I would have dealt with that situation, but you know, all things considered make sense, okay? So she adopts him away and she's like, there wasn't any father, which... I suppose is in a sense the demon and the whole thing just gets you know a little weirder but at least they know why or it makes sense that Jesse can do things considering that he was somehow conceived and also in a human whilst it was possessed by a demon <laughs> so like the whole thing you know they, they have to go back to Jesse so like the mum was of good help they go back to Jesse and before they do Cat shows up. It turns out that Jesse isn't just like any supernatural baby. No, he's the Antichrist. Yes, the Antichrist. I'm saying the. It's a little unclear if there could potentially be more than one Antichrist. Um, I'm gonna go with the assumption that there's only one. But on contrary to contrary belief or whatever you say, I think that's not how you say it. Anyway, it is not Satan's baby. No, any demon made slash human made demon and human made baby basically becomes the Antichrist. So this demon possessing this virgin woman, making her pregnant and having her having this child. Bam, Antichrist. And you know, Jesse is adorable, so it's kind of hard to believe that he's the Antichrist, but he is, and he is extremely powerful. Probably Hell's most powerful weapon. It's kind of weird talking about a weapon when it's a child, but that is it. And Cass comes, explains all of this, and he's like, you've got to kill him. And <laughs> poor the Dean and Sam is like, um, no, we are the good guys. We are not killing children, okay? And they have this back and forth and in the middle of this argument that Sam is having with Cass or discussion. I don't know if argument is the right word. Anyway, Cass disappears, Cass style, and they rush to Jesse because um, they don't want Cass to kill him, obviously. Cass arrives first, talks to the kid, says like, you know, don't be scared, and you can see on Cass's face, it's not like he wants to kill the kid, okay? He's doing what he believes is right 
to do but the kid is terrified poor jesse and then he brings out the knife and like as he's like about to like stab down poof no cass Cass is turned into a freaking toy. And in that moment, Sam and Dean breaks down the door and uh, Jesse is safe-ish. And they're like, did you see a guy in the trench coat? And he just looks down and they're like, okay, Cass is a toy, great. So they try to convince Jesse that he's a superhero. That kind of like an X-Men school looking for specially talented supernatural kids and whatnot and I you know I can I can understand that that probably makes more sense to a kid explaining it like that rather than like oh by the way kids you're the antichrist so you know have fun so I you know I get their approach but in the middle of this his mum arrives whilst all of this commotion was going down the demon who had originally possessed the woman who for some reason I can't remember her name at the moment, the mother, he possesses her again, or the demon possesses her again. And it's like, you know, we should go see our son. So Jessie's mom shows up, only that she has a demon inside of her. And that makes the whole thing kind of complicated because she obviously pushes uh, the guys, like the, the the boys to the wall and then she's like, they're lying to you, all everyone has ever done is lying to you, your parents have lied to you, they're not even your real parents, I'm your mum and like everyone just wants to lie to you and they don't want the what's best for you and like really, really pushing it and I have to say the actress made a really good job at that because I, I even felt a bit like I couldn't breathe, she was really good at like pushing that in and then she was doing that and it was terrifying but after a while, Sam tries to talk and she obviously tries to make him not talk. But then Jesse says, no, I want to hear what he says. And so he's like, let him go. And then Sam starts speaking and she interferes. Whereas Jesse then says like, shut up and sit down. And she immediately does. She can't speak. She can't move. She's just sitting in the chair. And you can really see how powerful Jesse is. He didn't even have to say it with a lot of like mm. he just said it and that was that sam finally tells him the truth which i think is the only thing that they can do jesse is a smart kid and he seems like a sensible and good-natured kid at least you know even though he's the antichrist he seemed like a good kid okay so i think Considering everything that's happening is better to just tell him the truth. It is not the ultimate way, like telling a kid this is not the best way, but I think considering the situation, there wasn't much else that they could do. And even though I think that sometimes, and they even discuss it in the episode, sometimes when parents lie to their kids or when people lie to kids, it can sometimes be for the good part but you know when as soon as you start sensing that someone is lying you're not going to be able to let that go and you're going to be angry at the person for lying and it's this whole thing so it was the only thing they could do was basically tell him the truth and they sam tells him that like the choice is yours it's not fair that this is your choice but you have to choose what you want to do because no one can make you do anything and just know that if you go with the demons a lot of people are gonna die and living with that is not something that you want to do and obviously he is speaking from experience starting the apocalypse and all and i think that kind of helps as well because i think sam is good at speaking with him because he can relate so much which is horrible but helpful in this situation so in the end jesse forces the demon out of his mum, who is just sleeping in a corner after that and jesse says that he wants to go and say goodbye to his parents so he does sam and dean is wondering a little bit why it's taking so long and then he they go up to his room only to find that he is gone my theory is he went to Australia to become a surfer boy because he had all of these posters of like surfing in Australia and stuff like that. So I was like, maybe, maybe he did that. And like, I hope, I hope he's just living out his best surfer dreams, um, which might be true for now. I wish he will stay living out his surfer dreams forever, but I don't know if that is going to be true because this is supernatural and he is the Antichrist. Do you say Antichrist or Antichrist? I don't know if it matters, but anyway, he's a big player in all of this. 
He's a huge weapon, and despite him being a kid and all of that, I have a feeling that this show is not just going to let him go and be a surfer boy. I don't know yet. I'm kind of scared to find out. I don't think we're going to find out in this episode. I think it might be later this season, or maybe not even this season. You never know with this show. This felt like an introduction. The last episode felt like an introduction to a new player. And I don't know when we're gonna find out more, but I don't. I, th I think that they drop that and then they're just gonna let it sit. And then we're gonna casually forget about it because there's gonna be supernatural drama and then it's gonna come and punch us in the face. That's how I feel. Do I know? No. Do I want to watch the box? Do I want to watch the next episode and see whether I'm right or wrong and what the flip is gonna happen? Yes. So, without further ado, let's get in to the next episode. Also, did it say the apocalypse on her newspaper or something? Is he aging really fast? Oh, oh, that, that has got to be terrifying. Oh no, don't tell me he's gonna die and they're like, he died of old age or something like that. Are you okay? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. We got supernatural aging now as well, okay. Mm-hmm. You expect me to believe your CDC? Excuse me? It's just that you're a day early. First time in history I haven't sat on my ass waiting for you people. <laughs> New administration. Okay, the music with this is just perfect. I love it. Meet Xavier. Date of birth, April 3rd, 1984. The Curious Case of Dean Winchester. Hmm. I missed his age, but yeah, that's wild. This evening's male, 25 years old. There we go. And he died of old age. See, I told you they would be like he died of old age. That is interesting. Only a job. Thought so. Bobby! We're missing persons, but usual for town this size. We'll check them out. You think they're connected? Call it a hunch. You got it. And by the way... So more old people doing? wandering off and just dying? In general. Oh, you mean my legs. <laughs> I'm just weeping in my hagen dies. Idiot. <laughs> oh my god, he's so angry about it. <laughs> I feel bad for him. I wish they could be there and like not take care of him as in like he needs help but with like his legs and stuff but just like mentally get him back on track because he's not. Oh, I knew right away when he didn't come home Tuesday night. Is there some place he likes to go after work maybe? Tuesdays he always works a bit late but he always comes straight. May I use your facilities ma'am? Your facilities. It'd be weird if all of these were just people dying of old age, but it'd be also kind of cool. A cool case, that is. Something tells me that there might be a mix, though. Golden pa- oh, Golden Palace. So, everything coming from one place, potentially? Oh, working late, I see. Okay. What do you think's in there? Wrinkly gooey corpse. Or oh, maybe he's just still there, hanging out, you know? <laughs> I love that he has a lock picking kit. Oh, God. Did he age the other way instead or something? Hey. <gasps> he aged the other way around, didn't he? Ever know anybody named Cliff Whitlow? Never heard of him. Oh, yeah, because that's him, isn't it? Huh. <laughs> not that. You huh. Got your birthmark there. That's nice. You look great. Did you get some work done? I love how he's just mocking him. <laughs> I like how you winked and then just went serious face. Hey, please don't tell my wife. Hold up. I'm begging you. As far as she knows, I'm dead. For the love of God, let's keep it that way. How can you possibly be Cliff Whitlow? Oh, okay. There might be some... Like, like Xbox? <laughs> like Xbox? Like Xbox. <laughs> Poker. Oh, yeah, because he's still an old person. Gotta remember that. Guy comes up to me at a bar, invites me to play. Gives me 25 of these weirdo poker chips, right? Chance some mumbo humbo over them. Because now, they're 25 years. But then I come out up. Uh-huh. All I know is my bad hip's good. I threw away my glasses. One of those ladies was here for free. Man, some kind of miracle worker. What does this miracle worker look like? Just a guy. Just a guy? <laughs> Brown hair. Irish accent. 
seems Patrick. All right. So they all gamble for their life and then can potentially add or lose years? That is an interesting case. I, I don't know. If, would you all do that gamble? Risk being older or younger? Well, I guess, I don't know if it's risk being younger. Well, you know. Crazy, right? no, I wonder if it's like a cap at the years then. Pops into town. Beat him, you get your best years back. Oh, best years back. Gotcha. You find the bar he's working in yet? There's a lot of dives in this town. We would have to split up. Well, why are you still talking to me? <laughs> oh, Bobby. Why are you still talking to me? Oh, I just want to give him a hug. Oh, where is he going? Is he joining the hunt? I want him to join the hunt. Oh no, wait. No, don't tell me Bobby joins in and then gambles to get his best years back, to get his leg back working. Could that be it? Oh, I hope I'm wrong. Listen, pal, I told you, I don't know what he been. I don't know nothing about a game. You sure? Cause, uh... Was that supposed to be an Irish accent? Maybe he could change as well. Bobby, what the hell are you doing here? Bobby. What's it look like? Came in on the case. I don't. Well, yeah. Legs, apparently. <laughs> so you found the game. Yep. Did you stop it, Bobby? No, he didn't. Oh no! Am I right? Not exactly. What did you do? I played. Just okay. gambled. Oh my God! Which did? Oh, he didn't. He lost, didn't he? he lost. I knew it! He did not look happy. If he would have come out there gambling and won, he would have been like, hey, hey. Hewitch, don't you take that tone with me, you idiot. They're my year. Did like he I just call him Hewitch? Oh, no, 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 no. You better, you better go help him. What happens if you remove this player? What happens to the years of the people who is past played already? Take your lovely companion here. Oh, there we go. That's the Irish fella. Gotcha. I was like, that dude in the bar did not have an Irish accent. Not much of a drinker. Very independent. Hey, man. I might just be sipping my tea. I'll buy you for a sec. Oh, yeah. Of course. Great. Good to see you. So, he's also a thief. I don't know what it is you think I did to your wife, or girlfriend, mother or sister, but uh, I expect you to know wife being. <laughs> I love that. That is what he assumes. You owe my friend some years. Oh, that's what this is. Yeah. All right, we lost. Oh, go ahead and shoot me if it makes you feel. <gasps> yeah, I was gonna say, is that even gonna work? What kind of people can do this? Play me for him. Is it like witches? No, they're my years. I can do what I want. <gasps> No, wait, don't you both go in and play. No, this is just, I hate this. You can't both go in and play or you both lose. Come on. You understand the terms. Because, like, I'm wondering, is this game even, like, a fair poker game? Or is it, I don't know, is poker ever fair? But, like, can he choose who loses? Make it 50. Oh. Dean, do not do this. Can he even give his ears to Bobby even if he wins? Because I'm assuming that's what he's going to do. Because, like, if he goes in 50, he can't go back 50 years. He wouldn't even be born. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm just saying. I'm a little stressed right now. Where's even Sam as all of this is happening? It's 25 years. They go to him. He's cashing out. But he, if he loses, well, I guess he'd be like 50-ish then. If he loses 25-ish only. I'm glad he saved Bobby, but I don't know if this is the best way to do it, you know? Okay, at least Bobby is back to normal. Thank you. Phew. I was a little stressed out. I was like, the clock is ticking here, isn't it? 25 years, you just passed away. Cause I don't know if, well, I guess if he only lost 25, he must, doesn't necessarily die of it. It's just very old, right? Shuffle up and deal. This is like, this is gonna be fun. 
Oh, I don't know if fun is the right word. This is like an intriguing and interesting episode, but it's like nerve wracking. Oh, Dave? poor Sam. Relax. It's me. Teen, I knew I was going to learn some fun sake. What the hell happened? <laughs> Found the game. This is so weird. weird. I am. Shut up. I thought you said you were good. I didn't know what you were. I mean, have you seen you? <laughs> you the old chicken, Titanic. <laughs> the old chicken, Titanic. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. That, Sam is secretly having a lot of fun with this. I can tell you. There. Yeah. Either you want to tell me what happened? Bobby yeah, they're both stupid. No, you're both idiots. I should have just let you die. And for damn sure, nobody asked you to lose. It's like grumpy old men. Shut up. <laughs> oh. So he is a witch dad, okay. Yeah, I get it, Bobby. You saw a chance to turn the hands of the clock back and get out of that damn chair. Pretty tempting. I can imagine. No, you can't. You got me. I've never been paralyzed. But I'll tell you something. I've been to hell, and there's an archangel there wanting me to drop the soap. I'm have a heart attack. No, you're not. What is it? <laughs> Acid reflux. Guys your age can't adjust to the foods. Oh. Then a cheeseburger. He's having such. They, they're both enjoying. They're all enjoying this in their own ways a little bit too much, mocking each other. Do you not having a cheeseburger? Mm -mm. You want to talk about solving this little issue of yours? That started with you, to be fair. Magic chips or something? Definitely. Remember what he chanted? Well, he cha enchanted them, so maybe it's the enchantment and not the chips. Deal me 50. Benjamin buttons me back into burger shape. What do you think? I think you ought to put some clothes on. <laughs> oh, it's so weird seeing him all like this. <laughs> Ready for housekeeping, sir? Oh my god, Dean. <laughs> You're just like my grandfather. <laughs> like my like grandfather. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> The way she just awes him. Oh my god, Sam is having the best time of his life currently. Bobby too. Okay, it is funny. I'm not gonna lie. Thank Dean, you. I'm sorry, but it is a ridiculous seeing you like this when you're not that age and haven't like grown into it. And that's not gonna do anything to him, is it? Did he just steal his car? Hey, like the guy. <laughs> Why am I not surprised that Dean likes him? That's a sneaky way to steal a car, I'm not gonna lie. I like how they looked at each other and then looked back again at each other. Well, I'm out. Sam just jogging up the stairs and Dean is like struggling. It's the second floor. How many floors are they going up? It's gonna be like 15 floors or something. I love how the last episode was like, oh, here's the Antichrist. And he is like, oh yeah, let's gamble for our lives and become old. Do you need a minute? <laughs> oh, poor Dean. I'm so sorry for laughing, Dean, but this is too funny. It's like... It's because he didn't grow into it and like it doesn't fit, you know? Like his personality doesn't fit his body. It's really funny. This does feel like the place where a witch would live. I guess only a witch would also leave burning candles on when you leave the apartment and have a cupboard full of them and silverware and s stuff. Dime store bottle. Piece of cake. Is it... Oh, he can't see properly. This is too funny. <laughs> well, welcome to my world. Don't have to be old to not see well. I could have done that. You could have. If you didn't gamble your years away. What are you doing? Oh, I'm hang on a minute. She, uh, I was just going to say she is not just a chick from the bar. Are they both witches? They're harmless? Take them. Yeah, it's not the chips, is it? Chips. Einstein's. It's showmanship. 
This may come as a shock, but the magic does not lie in a pile of crappy plywood. <laughs> what if... No, don't do it again! Come on. I wonder if... Is, are they both witches, or is it only... Huh. That's what I thought. I'm not a murderer. Mm. You on the other hand. No, Sam. Dig. Please, can we please stop playing this game, y'all? This is not going great. What if we just get to know now that D Sam is actually really good at poker or something? And we just never knew? I like how they just let them out. <laughs> oh, but Sam, your brother's situation, that's punishment enough. Small parting gift. What? Not him just winking at him. What did that even mean? What did he do? Is he gonna grow a little older too, or something? Dude, I believe that he which gave you the clap. <gasps> oh my god, our team is enjoying this too much. Oh my god, the witch has the same humor as Dean. <laughs> oh, Janelle. <sighs> Uh, I don't know how to feel. I feel stressed and this is just ridiculous on so many levels. You're not good enough. I'm better. Bobby's way See, better. See, you know, I have a feeling that Sam might be really good at this, but... Sammy, when you get to be and he might win. You're 30, Dean. Look, I've watched you hustle plenty of poker. Knowing the game is not enough, Sam. It's not about playing the card. It's about playing the other guy. You can take him. No, Bobby. Ah, uh, yeah, you can't risk. Yeah. You'll die if you lose, Bobby. So what if I do, huh? Yeah, they don't what? want you to die. Exactly. Come on. What am I living for, huh? The damn apocalypse? <sighs> I get how he, what he means, but you have so much to live for. You can do so much. You've helped them so much I after you got into that wheelchair. More. No, you are. I'm useless. No, 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 no. Wasn't such a coward. He is not a coward. My mouth day, I got home from the hospital. Bobby, that is just no. You're not a coward. No. Oh. The way I'm not surprised that he's saying all of this, but it hurts nonetheless. The boys need you. Even if you did nothing else, these boys need you, and that should be more than enough to stay and carry on living. And you're still a hunter. You got a great mind, and you have so much love to give. I hate this. Oh. Take it. It'll help you. Wait, why is she come here and give him this? What is this? The most powerful reversal spell you've ever laid your eyes on. And it reverses what? Patrick's work. All of it. Are you saying I could be normal again? Why would she give this to Huh? Trust me, don't trust me, I don't care. The spell is real. This don't add up for squat. Why Maybe she's want? just tired of this. Or of him or something. This could be a real step bell, I'm just wondering what it's all about oh my god i thought it was gonna be sam for a second i was like no 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 maybe she's just annoyed at him he's like she doesn't like what he's doing or something bet i sense you've got me by the jewels on this one half i fold i have a feeling he can choose or choose what do you say we call it a day thanks patrick Hesher is gonna live to see his granddaughter's bat mitzvah, isn't that right, Hash? Oh my god, Sam is there. See, there we go. Oh my god. See, I have a feeling that he, he can kind of choose who wins or not, a little bit. Or maybe maybe in this case he just knew and just chose. Nice Doesn't always have to be like that, but nice sometimes you're a nice guy. Sam, why are you in a play? I was so frustrated. I mean, it would be really funny though if he just did really, really well. I'm not gonna lie, it'd be really funny. Because I feel like it'd be unexpected and therefore make the two of them look really funny. I don't know. How do we even know our spell's gonna work? We don't. We ain't got a plan B. I love how they're just doing all of this and just ignoring where Sam is. Elbows, come on, creaky. <laughs> Hurry up, you crybaby. Pound it up your ass. Like... Uh... Shut up and dig, Grandma. <laughs> The two of them together right now is just too funny. You'll live. Keep digging. You know, Bobby, killing you is officially on my bucket list. <laughs> oh, gosh, this is too funny. I can tell a lot about a guy by looking. 
You mean you're psychic? No. About to be cheating. I mean, he could be psychic and just pretend not to be cheating, to be fair, but... Does your big brother know you're here? He probably knows exactly what to say as well. I didn't think so. I raise. From a person who doesn't really know poker, this is stressing me out. This is kind of why I don't want to play you. Kitty table, please. This is kind of why I don't want to play poker. I couldn't read people like this. And I definitely don't have a poker face. You're in over your head here, Sam. I mean, you can keep making these moves. You know, playing it cautious. But I'm still gonna kick your ass into the nursing home. Does this armchair psychology routine usually work for you? I just really annoyed at the freaking toothpick as well. What if Sam makes it? It's so that he loses a lot and then turns it around and wins by a lot instead. It'll break. How's it going in there? How do you think it's going? You still need a little he witch DNA. Oh, that's why he was there. Okay. I was like thinking that he just, okay, I guess he bluffed me as well. <laughs> and the way I just thought he just went there by his own accord. Because, you know, it's Sam, you know, and he cares for both. Bobby and for Dean, so it wouldn't surprise me if he did do that, you know? I actually can't tell if Sam is winning or not now. Get a me, me ass, Ooh, some green fire in the van. If this is a real spell, I would love to know why she does this. Well, how do I look? Can you not hear yourself? Is this what you meant to give your big brother? Bingo! There we go! Never pass my lips. Won't do a scrap of good. How did he know that? How did he know that? Cheating, Sam. Well, he's not cheating the game, per se. Just you. Okay, what if she takes it and runs? Like, really fast. Up to the van. Patrick, let him go! He tried to kill us! I did it! I gave him the spell! She's gonna tell him, okay? What'd you do? You know why. You know. What is the necklace or in the necklace? We look scary now. Keep playing. Everything we put in that spell was kosher, except the damn toothpick. Oh, goody. More stairs. <laughs> More stairs for you, Dean. It's too damn clean in here. First witch I ever heard of didn't spew bodily fluids all over the place. That's funny. I guess the witches that we've seen so far have been kind of gross in some sense. Awful transparent to you, Sam. I mean, if I had a monster hand like you have, I'd trap you. By fault. Set of ladies, I'm guessing. He didn't expect that, did he? If we had time, I could make a real player out of you. See, I told you. No, I don't. I mean, I know he's supposed to be keeping playing, but I don't want to. Your brother's gonna be dead uh, soon. What? Wait, what? Huh? That means he would change the rules, right? Minutes. What? Wait, now he's cheating, isn't he? There's only this part to be 25 years. The game's not over till I see this. Lines. Did he make Sam do that with his hand and everything? Oh, I'm so stressed. Oh, no, Dean! And there's no way Bobby can go up there because there's no elevator. When it's about your brother, you get so emotional, your brain just flies right out the window. Good to know. Go to hell. <sighs> I'm all in. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. I... I'll do that, son. I can't leave until it's over. Fine. It's over. Now, where's my brother? Look, there's poker and then there's suicide. Just play the hand. Virgin egg. Fine. Dean? No, no. I feel like I am going to fall off my chair out of like anticipation. This is too stressful. Maybe Sam's just a really good poker player, like I said. I'm sorry, kid. This is full. Is there anything that beats aces? For a witch, you're so nice, that's actually kind of creepy. <laughs> it's nice, though. The, there's a nice witch in all of this, right? Just 
He won though. Not as great as as four fours. Oh, see, maybe I was right. Maybe Samus is a really good poker player. See, because he's doing really well. <laughs> well played. Is that even gonna? Is he gonna let him go? Going out of your head, bit. Very method. Well, there's more to you than me. Not that I understand exactly poker here, but I'm impressed too. Just let them go. Dean, you hear me? Damn it, Dean! Oh, he did. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, we're not him dancing and jumping. Oh my god, Dean, that's too funny. I love how Sam won their lives back. This is actually so cool. I love that. I love that I was right. I knew I was going to be good at Parker. I buried my daughter. And she looked like this. It's not natural. And that's what that locket is. When you decided to come with me, this is what you wanted. You're so beautiful. Lovely. I guess it's lonely so going through this, yeah. Outliving everyone, even if you have your partner, you know. Sweetheart, of course I do. I thought I was cut out for this, but I'm not. I don't think I can do this without you. You got on okay for a long time before you met me. Does that mean she's not a witch or she became a witch? He's making her play for her life. Wow. Wow, when you say you love her, just let, let her go. Like, what? It's, it seemed like it'd been like 900 years or something. I mean, I know it's hard because I'm, I'm saying like, let her go and like, that would basically kill her. But like, if it's really been that long, you know, you know what I mean, right? What if she takes his life? That'd be really funny. Or like a twist of events, but... Thank you. Oh, this is sad though. He has to watch her grow old and die in front of him. That is still horrible. No tricks. You actually beat the guy. Oh. <laughs> Just lucky. Just lucky he's not even gonna pretend like he's good at Parker. Is he gonna go out and gamble now? A booster shot. Don't say it. A booster shot? What, like for the flu? <laughs> Shouldn't have called you an idiot. Oh, <laughs> At all, I suppose. Oh. I get it. Getting old ain't a bachelor party and dealing with the crap you gotta deal with. Don't you go on pity patrol. I'm not. Just saying. You know, if I was in your shoes, you'd never stop complaining. <laughs> we all are that now. Fair enough. You're not useless, Bobby. That is true, though. Good talk. Oh, wait a minute. Listen to me. Hey, no matter what shape you're in, bottom line is, you're family. I don't know if you've noticed, but me and Sam, we don't have much left. Mm. I can't do this without you. I can't. I believe that's true. They can't. Don't you dare think about checking out. I don't want to hear that again. They need you, Bobby. We all need you. Okay. Okay. Good. You can see on Dean's face he's actually scared that Bobby's gonna do it. Are we done feeling our feelings? Cause <laughs> I'd like to get out of this room before we both start growing lady parts. <laughs> Why are they so alike? Oh, they can't. They have to like end like a serious discussion like that. Is he not gonna- it's not gonna have the cheeseburger. School iron studs. Oh, that one's sticking, huh? He's not gonna have the burger? I cannot believe that. Oh, Bobby, I just wanna give him a hug. Oh. That was such a fun episode. I really enjoyed it. It was... Honestly, the last few episodes have been a little bit on the lighter side, which I feel like after everything that happened the past seasons, this is what I need. This is what I want. Feels a little bit like we're back to season one. We got the one-to-one -one episode cases and I enjoy it, okay? I'm just gonna sit here in my little bubble and I'm probably gonna break to pieces once it pops, but so far, you know, 
I'm having a good time. I like the, this idea of this episode. I feel kind of annoyed that I managed to guess so much in this. I don't know if annoyed is the right word. I don't know how, but I don't know. Maybe it was just like a more obvious episode, but I managed to guess quite a lot. Like Sam was good at poker and uh, that they were all gonna gamble. See, I told you they were. Told you they were. But I had a lot of fun watching this. This was kind of fun guessing. I, I think most people are probably artists by now, but I do kind of enjoy guessing some things sometimes. Because, you know, sometimes you think, when you're watching something, you think about it and you're like, oh, I wish I would have said that out loud so like people would have known that I actually thought about it before it happened. So now I'm like, I'm just gonna throw it out there. And I just happened to be <laughs> right a lot in this one. It was silly and it was goofy. It was fun seeing witches in a very different light. These witches were not really like other witches that we've seen the supernatural and it was interesting seeing the woman and i guess all of these years kind of made her into a better person and witch maybe she wasn't one before i'm not 100 percent sure but it's kind of nice seeing her you know make a decision that she thinks is the good best for her and just i guess wanting to do the right thing as well as just having enough of all of this and a life where you don't know anyone apart from your partner anymore your whole family your friends everything is just gone it was extremely funny seeing dean all in this one i'm not gonna lie the actor did a really good job portraying dean as a how old was he supposed to be like 55 <laughs> I think it was, I think Dean is like 30 in this season and he got 25 years, right? It was really fun. I can so see that being Dean as an older person in the future, the way he behaved, like, yes, it checks out. I can see that. It's just so funny. And it was even funny seeing him and Bobby together because it was like that similarity be similarities became more obvious and then, you know, Dean was grumpy being in the older body and like all the stuff that he wasn't prepared of and then you know, Bobby was already grumpy about everything in life, so them being too grumpy over people, like none of them were old, old, but you know what I mean, it was kind of, it was really funny, and I loved how much Sam enjoyed it, and like Bobby enjoyed seeing Dean, and like it was just the whole circle of them enjoying mocking each other, and it was just really good, it was really good. <laughs> I laughed a lot. I still feel light. I it was a really emotional talk at the end, but I'm happy they had that. And I hope that Bobby, and I think he does, but I hope Bobby truly understands how much the boys needs him and also how much he means to them. Because he is the only family that they've got left and he's just the, he's, he's the, like, one of the most important characters in the show and I hope that he understood that from talking to Dean a little bit. It was a nice heart to heart, but of course none of them could just stop talking after that, no. They had to go out and, like, be them after that, but, you know. <laughs> I really enjoyed it though. I don't know how to wrap it up in a better way. Interesting case. It's funny. I had a lot of fun watching it. I had fun guessing. I was apparently right a lot and I guess we got to see some new sides of the characters because of the situations that they were in and also very different witches. Overall, really enjoyed this. As I thought, we didn't find anything out more about Jessie and um... I guess it's more of an in-betweener, but I really enjoy these in-betweeners because I know some people probably skips them, but it really builds the characters and it builds the world. And when there's so many heavy episodes, I really enjoy having a silly goofy one in between, you know? I think it's a lot of fun. <laughs> But thank you so much for watching today's episode with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it would mean a lot if you gave it a like. Of course, comment down below your thoughts, feelings when you watch the first time, the 58th time, when you watch it with me. I would love to know. Maybe you have some fun facts. Maybe there's some other things you'd like to tell me. Or maybe you just want to say hi. You know, leave them down below. I really appreciate y'all being here. Also, if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe for upcoming videos. We have, um, like, a ten and a half more seasons, even, even more, to watch. So... It's going to be a long journey and I hope you're strapped in for it. Thank you so much for being here and I hope you'll have an amazing rest of your day, night, morning, midnight, snack, breakfast, whichever time it is for you when you're watching this and I'll see you very soon. Bye!